Hey everyone, just teaching our kids out here a little gun safety and doing some target practice. Hey everyone, Ryan Cameron and Corbin here. We're up at the family cabin in Eagle Meadows and the boys are doing a little target practice. One thing that I think with guns, I grew up with guns, I grew up hunting. Um, I started hunting at a very young age and was always around guns. I grew up in a house with uh, no safe. So the guns were always around me, um, but they were never a mystery to me. I always respected the guns and didn't make them a mystery and I've done the same with my kids even though I do have a gun safe now uh, just because I keep not only my guns in it but I keep other you know documents and things like that in it but I think it's important to always teach the kids basic gun safety even when shooting 22s or even shooting um, BB guns everything so Cameron is practicing with a BB handgun and that BB handgun is actually very heavy like a real gun but it teaches them gun safety so i sit here and watch them make sure that the guns are always pointed down range when they're loading them they're always down range only one of them is shooting at a time they never go down range until yelling clear uh down range clear um you know they've got ear protection on right now okay. usually they're wearing eye protection and they need to get their eye protection on too um, eye protection is important because if a bullet explodes in the chamber, it could throw shrapnel into your eyes. So that's why eye protection, and of course ear protection, just to protect your ears. Even these uh, 22s, the pop of them, still can be damaging to uh, young kids' ears. So we're gonna do a little target practice here and have some fun. What are you aiming at? There's no. Uh, no ammo on it, okay? But then you flip it and you just press this button, it extends, you go to the other side, but the pain in the butt is to get this thing all the way down. Yeah, I remember that. Back past that thing. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see if I can do it. All right, got it. And then you set it like this, leaning down this way, down the chamber. And where? Okay, right here. And then you'll just slightly tap. You're slightly tapping like that. Okay. Make sure it doesn't get clogged. As you can see with Corbin shooting it, it's this one is um, because it is a little more realistic. The trigger is super hard to pull, so for him, he kind of has to use both fingers. Um, my brother-in-law's got one of the plastic ones, and it's a little easier to pull. One shoot. So it's a little different when trying to teach them to, you know, he's a left-hander, so he should have his left hand on it with his right hand underneath it. We can't, we have to put, we but have they to have to use two hands. Be, they have to use two hands on the trigger because the trigger is so stiff. 